So this is a bit of a last minute gift guide. If you haven't gotten something already or you're looking to pick something up for yourself, under $50, maybe $55 for one of these guys. But today we've got some items that are more geared towards gaming. We've got some items that are geared towards content creation and live streaming and some that I just have used for years and really, really like. So to start off with, an Xbox controller battery pack. This one's from GameSir, it's the exact one I use at home. It plugs right into that existing port for batteries on your controller. And it comes with a 10 foot USB charging cable and in a pack of two. So you get two of these batteries and two 10 foot charging cables with this battery pack. Now, the one thing that I really like about this guy is the 10 foot charging cable. It's a braided cable, it's 10 feet long. It means you can sit back on the couch and still game while you're charging your battery if you ever need to. And then the battery itself, they say lasts about eight hours. You might get four to five hours out of it, but good thing is you can still plug it in while you're playing. And in my opinion, this is worth it. From a price standpoint, it's on sale right now for about $15. Even if it wasn't, it's about $25. That's good enough for a two 10 foot USB charging cables uh, in, in my opinion. So that's probably the best thing about it. The other thing is that you could pick up a controller, whether that's Xbox or PlayStation this holiday season. They're both around $50. Maybe you wanna get one for your friend who rages a lot and throws his controller against the wall. Or maybe that's you and you just need to pick up a new controller. That's a pretty good gift idea, I think, for any gamer. And on the PlayStation side, when it comes to batteries, you can pick up some charging stations. We'll link some of these battery packs and charging stations down below. And you guys can decide for yourselves which one you think is worth it. Next up, this is something that I have used for literally years, probably half a decade. They've gone through different versions. I think they're on their third generation of these headphones. These are Symphonized, I believe is the brand, NRG 3.0 headphones. Great headphones. They came with a braided cable for a while. Now it's more of a rubber cable. I actually think it's a little bit sturdier than it used to be. Can be used as a microphone. You can take calls with it, volume up, volume down. You guys are used to that, but these are just standard earbuds with the little rubberized end pieces that I think fit really well inside your ears. They have a wood exterior, so that's pretty interesting. And my biggest thing with these headphones, when you get sort of cheaper headphones, maybe $30 or less, and they're just earbuds like this, they almost always sound very tinny. These sound very bassy. Is that, is that even how you say that? They're very bassy, they're bass driven headphones. So there's a lot of sound, a very full sound in these and the rubberized ends really help cancel out some of the exterior noise. Now it is a 3.5 millimeter jack. So for your phone, you're gonna want that little uh, dongle accessory to plug into your phone, but we're all kind of used to that by now. And I like that it's not just limited to that. So we can use this anywhere that you have this input, for instance, in your computer, in your controller, anything like that. All right, next up, let's move on to something a little bit more content oriented. In general, a mini tripod is a pretty cool accessory. You might not think you need it, but you might not realize just how much you do. There are lots of different mini tripods out there. I've got at least three here at Pacers Gaming. My favorite is probably this Manfrotto Pixie tripod. Uh, it's, it's got a ball head so you can press that in and sort of angle around anything. It's really sturdy. I use it for holding microphones. I use it for holding this also. This comes in the kit if you want it, which is a cell phone holder. So if you wanna do some content with your cell phone, you don't need a super expensive camera and then get yourself a mini tripod and a little cell phone holder and that's gonna get you set up right away. We'll talk audio here in a second for under $50 as well, but this little set here is something like $25. You find these for $15 on Amazon. We'll link a couple down below. They can be used for a lot of things. We're gonna talk about how they can be used here in a second on another item, but I really, I really couldn't live without this guy. If you were to start, let's say just creating some content, creating some YouTube videos, maybe you're live streaming or you're on Twitter making videos, whatever you're doing, and you're using your cell phone to start out, I would recommend the Boya Lavalier mic. I'm actually using it right now. This entire video is recorded on it. You can see it clipped right here and it comes with a 20 foot cable, which is almost a little bit ridiculous, but it's actually pretty perfect because right now I'm about seven feet away from the camera. This cord's running down through the desk underneath and to the camera. So 
That allows me to sit further away. You can interview someone who's further away without having to use a wireless lav pack or you can just wrap up the cable a little bit and interview someone closer or use it yourself. Maybe you're doing that cell phone video with your little mini tripod you picked up and you're gonna get a lot better audio quality, like so much better audio quality. And in my opinion, if you're gonna upgrade something first in your content creation, your video recording, start with audio. Good audio in a video will keep people interested longer than good video and bad audio, if that makes sense. Plus cell phones these days shoot really great video. So if you want some really crisp audio, just like the audio you hear right now, then pick up this Boya Lavalier mic. I think we're about to pick up a second one here at Pacers Gaming. They're so cheap for about 25 or $30. It's an amazing deal. If you're interested in live streaming, here's a couple things to pick up for your streams. To start, you need a webcam. I recommend the C920. Everyone recommends the C920. It's a base 1080p webcam, super cheap, super simple, super economical, I should say. It's not cheap. It's actually a really great webcam. I grew my YouTube channel on this for years. We have 10 of them here. We use them at all of our stations for live streaming uh, and capturing the uh, face cams of our guys. But the Logitech C920, highly recommended camera if you're looking to start out live streaming, creating videos, any kind of content. Easy plug and play right into your computer. And if you pick up one of those mini tripods, you don't just have to be stuck with this on top of your monitor, you can actually move it around. That's one of the great things about having a cord and not having the camera attached to your monitor is that you can move this camera around literally to wherever you want. I've shot things with it where I mount it straight up and down so I can show the desk view like for instance, a keyboard camera or controller cam. Um, I've also used it at different angles. So I could put it straight ahead like that, or I could do like a side angle. You can put it anywhere you want. That's why I love the C920 webcam. Even if you have good video, you gotta have quality audio. So if you're looking, if you're in the market for a microphone, USB microphone, we recommend the Blue Yeti. Snowball Ice, actually. Blue Yeti is a little bit more expensive. This is the Snowball Ice, Blue Ice microphone, Blue Yeti Snowball. It doesn't matter, it's all the same thing. You'll find this, it's a very distinctive design, but this is a USB microphone, plugs right into your computer, plug and play just like the C920 webcam. And you put it in front of you, if you put it in front of you about a foot or two away from you, you're gonna get the best sound out of it. The further away that it is, the lower the sound quality. So make sure you keep that right up on you if you really want to up the level and quality of your audio on your live streams, in your YouTube videos, or just maybe on Discord when you're chatting with your teammates and stuff. For the price, I think right now, it's something like $40 on Amazon. Great deal on a quality microphone. So for under $100, you can get both a C920 and the Snowball Ice and really set yourself up to start live streaming and creating content. So we covered like seven or eight items in this video for this little holiday gift guide under $50. Controllers to battery packs, we got headphones, we got tripods, we've got cell phone holders, mics, C920 webcam, all this stuff. We have, we use, we recommend. I've used a lot of this for years and years and so has Cody. We use it all almost daily here at Pacers Gaming. Uh, everything is in the description. If you wanna go check out anything for yourself or if you're looking for something for a family member, maybe a friend, all under $50 or right around $50. So these are great quick items, last minute shopping, pick them up this week, get that Amazon Prime two day shipping and get them in so you can get them wrapped and give them to whoever deserves these gifts this season. If it's not yourself, maybe wrap it for yourself and then you can just unwrap it and pretend like someone else gave it to you. I don't know, maybe. All right guys, from everyone here at Pacers Gaming, we hope you have a great day and a happy holidays. We'll see you next time. This camera we used as uh, Wi-Fi, like uh, like remote control Wi-Fi stuff. And I've got the app open here and I'm really hoping that this record button worked. I'm gonna find out here in a little bit. And I tried focusing on this and everything. So please work, please have worked.
And if it did, great. We'll see you guys next time.